Loosen the two hex screws at the top. Protect the gimbal sticks and lay the radio on its front. Unclip and remove the side grips. Remove the four screws from the back. Remove the battery cover and the battery case. Also remove or cut the sticker at the bottom, it does not void the warranty. Wiggle the top piece until it is loose. Remove the back of the shell. If your radio has a rear speaker, unplug it. If you want to stiffen the sliders you can remove the stock plastic handle and replace it with a thicker 3D printed one. You can find my remix design linked below. Add a rubber ring between the pod and the slider handle for even better results. The slider will feel stiff only when you close the back of the shell. If the rings are thick enough, you can use the stock sliders. If you want to adjust your gimbal tension and ratcheting, check my video in the description. The pot knobs of the TX16S Max are nice, but it would be even nicer if you could use any knob you wanted. I designed these pod extensions, so you can use many different knobs. 3D design is in the video description. Unscrew and remove the antenna holder. Unscrew and remove the USB board. Unscrew the pot board and push the knobs through the holes to remove it. Pull the knobs from the pot shafts and remove any stickers there may be. My pod extensions fit snug, but it depends on your 3D printer tolerances. Put the pot board back and screw it in place. Now you can easily add and replace any knob you like. For sneak peeks and behind the scenes stuff, consider becoming a patron. You can find more info in the video description. The pot knobs I used are also linked in the video description. The stock pots feel loose, but there is room for a rubber ring between the shell and the knob. Follow the same steps to remove the pot board.
put the knobs with the rings back on the shafts. Make sure you match the correct knob to each pot, or you will end up with the dots upside down. The dots will be at the top when you flip and reinstall the board. The thickness of the rings must be just right, so you don't put strain on the board. These mechanical keyboard rubber rings fit perfectly. Reinstall the boards, but don't screw the antenna holder all the way in. If you want both the friction and extension mods, you can try this alternative design I made. Let me know how it goes, because I haven't tried it. Unscrew and remove the ratchet and friction metal blades from the pitch and roll gimbal. Teflon filament tube for 3D printers works great for this mod. Cut approximately 24 mm with a sharp blade, so that it holds its shape. Place the tube on a smooth flat surface, and squish it with pliers. Rotate and squish again. One side will be perfectly smooth, and the other will have marks from the pliers. Check if it fits, but don't install yet. Reduce the bend of the friction blade. This will affect how smooth your throttle stick feels throughout its range of movement. Slide the tube onto the friction blade with the smooth side facing the gimbal. I used my reverse tweezers to help push it all the way to the bend. Make a similar bend on the other side, before the mounting hole. If you like what you see, subscribe and support the channel. You can find out how in the description below. Replace the blades of the throttle gimbal with the blades you modified. The plastic surfaces of the gimbals were lubricated, but this mod feels smoother, and should last a lot longer. You can also stiffen the scroll wheel a little bit. Remove the three screws from the back of the scroll wheel board. Lift the board and unplug it. Remember to always press the wheel at its bottom, so you don't put strain on its shaft. Remove the wheel and stick a piece of adhesive felt on the board. Use a felt pad with just enough thickness, you only need a small amount of friction. I have seen others use adhesive fabric tape, but I don't recommend it. You can stick a small pad on the board, and wrap it with fabric tape, to get the thickness you need. but fabric tape does not last long, and you will end up with lint everywhere.
Reinstall the board and plug its connector. The two long screws go at the top. Subscribe and hit that little bell, so you don't miss videos like this. Also check the video description for parts 2 and 3 of this mod's video series. You will also find my playlist for the TX16S radio, with more mods and useful tips. Consider supporting the channel and my efforts, any way you like. You can tip my piggy bank, join my Patreon, or shop using the links below. Every little bit helps a lot.